the inaugural episode of Split the Party, our brand new web show. My name's Steve Osmond and I'll be your host. Today, we're going to talk about 2015, the things that I am really looking forward to this year, things that I've been looking forward to in some cases for the last couple of years. Uh, but I'm going to start with Marvel. Marvel Studios, they've got the Avengers movie coming out this year, Age of Ultron. That's going to be fantastic. The first one was a hit and I can't wait to see the second one. They've got Ant-Man coming out. Ant-Man is not as well known a character, but from everything I've seen, the tech demos, the teasers, this movie is going to be really, really cool. They also have Fantastic Four coming out, not from Marvel Studios, but still their characters. I don't know a whole lot about the Fantastic Four movie that's coming out, but I'm still looking forward to it. It should be great. They have in television, they've made it a deal with Netflix to release four exclusive TV shows to Netflix. Two of them, Daredevil and Jessica Jones, are coming out this year. I'm really excited about that because Netflix has been doing a very good job handling their in-house TV shows. Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, these shows are doing very well. And I'm excited to see them give Marvel that same treatment. Marvel also has Agent Carter coming out in syndicated television. Now this one I, I'm looking forward to because it's a slightly different style than what Marvel's been doing lately. It's a 40s spy type. Uh, if you remember, Agent Carter was the character that... Steve Rogers was supposed to go and see a movie with her, and he ended up not getting a chance to. So it's her life after he goes in after he goes into the water forward. I'm I'm expecting this to draw a slightly different audience than what Marvel has been getting, which is why I'm looking forward to it. They've got enough money and enough bravery, honestly, that they can cast that wider net and it's gonna bring more fans into the fold. And that's always good. Uh, DC Comics next year, they don't have any movies, they don't have any, t any TV shows that are coming out next year, but they do have Convergence, their new comic event. Uh, the basic storyline with Convergence, from what I understand, is that Brainiac, being the main villain for it, takes pieces of planets from different realities and puts them all together and builds a planet to see how the people will get along. If that sounds familiar, it's because you probably read Marvel's Secret Wars in the 80s, but the reason this is exciting is because he's pulling pieces from reality from the current New 52 reality and from before the New 52, which for DC Comics fans is exciting. That means that all those realities and continuities that we thought were gone, they're not. They are all back into continuity now. Everything that DC has ever created, every alternate reality that they've ever used is fair game. And that's really exciting because some of them that disappeared were, were important to, those, to our you know, to the fans. So people are really excited about Convergence. I'm really excited about Convergence, but I'm also excited to see where it's going to go afterwards. We also have the Marvel event coming out next year, which is Secret Wars, a new Secret Wars. Um, this one appears to be taking all of their different alternate realities, and it's affecting all of them somehow. From what I understand, it's sort of going to be trimming the fat because Marvel has been getting a lot of alternate realities and a lot of alternate timelines out there. So where DC is expanding a little bit more, Marvel is slimming back down, which in my opinion, they've desperately needed to do. They've started to really get out there and it's been kind of hard to follow everything. In any character's storyline, it's hard to remember exactly which one happened in the current reality. Um, that's... Uh, that's it for the comic book world. I'm also really looking forward to Hostile Takeover. It's a shadow run game. This is the one I told you I've been looking forward to for a couple of years. Hostile Takeover is a worker placement, a Euro style board game where you play as the leaders of the mega corporations in the shadow run world and you are manipulating the shadow runners and your corporate employees to do tasks for you trying to become the strongest mega corporation. I'm really really looking forward to this. I love Shadowrun, all things Shadowrun. It's one of my favorite role-playing systems. The game that they released this year, Shadowrun Crossfire, is an excellent, excellent card game. And I'm sure Hostile Takeover is going to continue that quality moving forward. Another game that I'm looking forward to is Folklore. This one's actually made locally here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I got to play it at Origins last year and also at Grand Con last year. The game's fantastic. The art is beautiful. It's a role-playing style board game and the the mechanics are very, very smooth, and it's really easy to just sit right down and learn how to play the game, jump immediately into it, and it's fun. It is a lot of fun. So be looking for, be looking out for folklore, and look out for Hostile Takeover, too. I'm confident that this is the year. This year, we're finally going to get Hostile Takeover. It's going to be a great game. 
But that's all I've got for you today, folks. Come back next week. We're going to be talking about 5th edition and Pathfinder. Uh, Fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons, and specifically which one of them we think is going to shake out to end up being the number one role playing system in the world. I'd like to thank our our sponsors, Dual Bus Design and Excelsior Games and Comics in Greenville, Michigan. I'll see you in a week. <laughs>